Hey everyone, welcome to the Space Stock Exchange, bringing you news and information on publicly traded companies related to the space industry. Three, two, one, release, release, release. Fire. Fire. So Virgin Galactic uh, just had a flight with his VSS Unity. This was the first uh, space flight from the state of New Mexico that took humans to space. And that makes New Mexico third in uh, you know states in the United States that have taken people to space behind uh, California and Florida. And uh, Virgin Galactic stock, that stock ticker SPCE, has been taking off. Uh, it's going high, It's uh, and it keeps climbing. Um, where it's going to go, I'm not sure. But if we get those next two flights this summer, we're going to, actually three flights, and uh, possibly one at the end of the summer, and uh, or maybe the fall. So three flights overall. Um, then the stock will probably keep rising. I'm not a financial advisor or expert, so I don't really know. But uh, I am counting down to the uh, those launches, which uh, I think is going to really help this company. So the uh, next one should be in June, probably end of June. Um, that will be a crew of six, two pilots, and four mission specialists who work for the company. They're going to test out the uh, the uh, capsule of the VSS Unity and uh, just to understand what the experience will be like for a uh, tourist. And then in July, hopefully July 18th, which will be Richard Branson's birthday, hopefully he can fly to space on the VSS Unity and uh, that'll generate a lot of publicity. Uh, it'll be the first time a, uh, you know, someone who's actually owned a space company has gone into space, which means Richard Branson would beat Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk uh, in going to space. And uh, this would only come two days before, if we got the July 18th flight, before Blue Origin flies humans to space on their suborbital rocket known as the New Shepard. And uh, yeah, if we get that to happen, then good. It might slip. It might be a little later. So uh, maybe August. Uh, who knows? If, if they can get those flights down this summer, it's going to be great. And uh, then we should expect a third flight, which will be the uh, flight for the Italian Air Force. The Italian Air Force is paying to fly some passengers and some payloads to space. We can expect that August, September, maybe October, uh, then that'll demonstrate that Virgin Galactic can uh, work with a military branch or a space agency. It'll probably generate even more customers from governments, uh, military branches. Uh, we could definitely expect the United States Space Force, I believe, will see the Italians doing that with a suborbital uh, space flight and they'll, they will want to get involved and I'm sure they'll start a program. Uh, NASA has already is already in the works of having their own astronauts fly on board the uh, spaceship for these suborbital flights uh, as a form of training, but also testing experiments, and uh, it'll generate a lot of revenue. So when Richard Branson's flight will occur, we can expect uh, Virgin Galactic will open up orders to the public. So customers can come and they can start buying flights. It's not exactly sure what those flights will be. Uh, the cost maybe like two hundred fifty thousand. Maybe it could be uh, all the way up to half a million. But uh, it'll start bringing in a lot of revenue, and uh, yeah, they'll be ready for commercial flights at the beginning of 
2022. So three flights, crew of six, Richard Branson's flight, the Italian Air Force, they're done. Then the VSS Unity will be on the ground for four months, which they'll review the data, get everything done. And when they're finished, they'll be ready to fly it at the beginning of next year. Also, there will be the VSS Unity, I mean, not Unity, VSS Imagine, which is the first of the Spaceship 3 class that'll start flying. Uh, hopefully, glide flights will begin this summer. All we need is four test flights, uh, test uh, glide flights, and four powered flights for testing, and then they'll review the data, modify the ship to the best of, uh, you know, the ability, and uh, then hopefully it will be able to start flying. Then we can expect another one, a VSS Inspire, that'll be ready for commercial flights maybe in the middle of 2022. So 2022, you can expect three spaceships, and then maybe we'll get uh, another um, aircraft mothership. We have the VSS Uni uh, Eve that drops the spacecraft, and uh, hopefully we can get another one built soon. And uh, I think by that point, when we have those commercial flights going, they'll be able to ramp it up. Um, that's the most important part, is can they have these flights as fast as possible? I think with the Spaceship 2 class, which is the VSS Unity, I think they could do a flight once a month because if you go back and look at the time between the first uh, flight, which was back in 2018, and the second, which was at the very beginning of 2019, there was about a two-month delay. Uh, of course, there was other issues they discovered after the second flight, which the with the uh, HDAB. Uh, I covered this and the EMI problem they had back in December of 2020. So if you want to know more of the history, go back there. So they had. Uh, because it explains the delay. But if you look at those first two flights, uh, it was a very short period, and I think they're looking at trying to turn them around once a month. And with the Spaceship 3, I believe the turnaround could probably be around maybe a week or two weeks, maybe three weeks. Um, hopefully they're trying to turn them around quicker so you can get more passengers flying, more money being generated. So. Uh, these are exciting times for Virgin Galactic. Um, if they can get those flights, you know, these three flights this summer, it's going to be really good for them. And uh, what's exciting is we have a, a bit of a mini space race going on, a space race in the private sector between uh, Blue Origin and also SpaceX. Uh, Blue Origin is racing to deliver customers to suborbital space. And SpaceX is going to be doing the first uh, private space flight to orbit. That is Inspiration4. And I uh, have their mission patch right here. That's going to be exciting. That should happen in September. When that happens, uh, that'll be exciting too because uh, tourism is taking off. And uh, it's expensive right now. Obviously, if you're going to fly on a uh, Falcon 9 with SpaceX, you're going to spend millions of dollars. And uh, with Blue Origin, you might spend a million dollars. And Virgin Galactic, maybe half a million to a quarter of a million. Super expensive. But you got to remember, Mount Everest has a lot of people p paying thousands of dollars to experience that. And uh, that makes a lot of money. But I believe with these spaceships, over time, the uh, price will be brought down, and maybe 30 years from now, when I'm ready to retire, uh, going to space could be the equivalent of uh, maybe taking an expensive trip to Hawaii. Um, we'll see, and uh, I'm super excited, and I believe, yeah, there's a ch good chance I could go to space sometime. But yeah, right now, I've been holding Virgin Galactic, I bought it, I've bought shares back in 2019 when it first went public and I st slowly started buying more over 2020 and uh, now I'm just holding, I'm watching and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for those two flights, waiting for that Richard Branson flight and I think the stock's going to do great.
So yeah, if you liked this video, uh, smash that like button, uh, share with friends if you feel the need, and if you want, subscribe because more content is coming. Um, sometime this summer, I want to talk a little bit about Tesla. I believe Tesla is going to get involved in the space industry. There is a new space race going on in the private sector to uh, get back to uh, the moon with NASA's Artemis program. And uh, I think Tesla is going to get involved. I want to talk a little bit about my own Tesla and the technology that will be used for uh, potential lunar missions. Uh, yeah, it should be exciting times. So stay tuned and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.